What's up guys, I hope y'all having a great day today. Before I get into today's video, I just wanted to say for anybody new around here, I do drop item location videos, build videos, and playthroughs of Elden Ring right now. So if you guys are interested in any of that, make sure to check it out. For any of the returning viewers, thank you for always being there and supporting the channel. It means the world to me. And without further ado, let's talk about this very, very powerful build. Starting off with our stats, we're going to have 53 in the Vigor. The reason for this is that we wear an armor that makes us take increased damage but deal increased damage. And also we're a pretty up close and personal build so you are going to want as many hit points as possible. Next up we have Mind which we're going to have at 16. This is just to help us do a few extra incantations and Ash of Wars. 23 and 2 Endurance for our stamina bar so that we can carry everything. Strength is just going to be 11 because it's a minimum requirement. 80 for dexterity because it's a majority of our damage. For intelligence, it's the same thing as strength. For faith, we're going to have that 25 so that we can properly cast our golden vow and bestial vitality. And for arcane, we're going to leave it at 10 since we don't use it. Next up, I'll be showing off the different armors, weapons, talismans, and flask of wondrous physics. Starting off with our weapons, we're going to have the Sword of Night. The reason for this is it does great damage. It has a very cool Ash of War, and I know everybody loves this weapon, so I made sure to put it in here, not to mention it matches the whole theme of the build. The Claws of Night are going to have amazing DPS. They have ranged attacks on heavy attacks, and all of the ranged attacks actually do more bleed build up, which is great. The Bone Bow is just to have homing projectiles as your arrows with the Ash of War. While I was making this video, these daggers right here, these throwing daggers, got a slight buff, so now they have increased amounts of range, so that's even better. You have an offhand ranged option now. The fire spark is just a slight AoE option for when you feel like there's too many things crowding up around you. And the golden order seal is to cast all of your incantations and anything else that you need to do with uh, your faith step. Next up we have the white mask. The reason for this is for whenever you proc bleed you'll have increased AR which is just always handy. This full armor set is going to make us take a fair bit more damage but we do get to deal a fair bit more damage also so it's a give or take. You don't have to wear this. If you want you can wear something a little bit more tanky and you won't have to take increased damage on top of that. But if not then just feel free to wear this. As for our talismans, we're going to have the Dragon Crest Great Shield so that we're a bit more tankier and it can help mitigate the Rakshasha's armor's debuff. The Blessed Blue Dew Talisman is going to help us spam out different incantations and Ashes of War whenever we can. This helps us build more over time. The Rotten Winged Sword Insignia is going to help us build up some pretty insane AR over time if we keep hitting the same target. And the Ritual Sword Talisman also helps us get a bit more damage, but you can very easily switch this out for something else like the Lord of Blood's Exultation or anything else you could think of. It's pretty interchangeable. As for the Flask of Wondrous Physics, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a Crimson Crystal Tear and a Crimson Burst Crystal Tear. But you can very easily switch these out if you don't care about heals for one that does like more damage if you keep getting consecutive hits and the blood sucking tier so that you lose HP over time but you'll start doing a ton more damage I believe it's about 20% <coughs> next tier I just wanted to show off the different spells that we have which is pretty straightforward we're gonna have golden bell so that we can have more defense and more damage flame grant me strength if you ever want to just get even more physical attack out of your weapon for a little bit Bestial Vitality so that you can recover HP over time. And Heal from Afar just so that you can get a quick heal off as the animation is relatively quick to pull it off. Or you could just use it to go heal a teammate real quick. And that's pretty much everything for the spells. It's pretty straightforward. Next up, we're going to be getting into some invasions here.
And that'll do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been up till 8 a.m. like editing and setting up this video and testing a whole bunch of things that would make the build work better and better. And we landed on this and I'm pretty happy with how the build turned out. If you guys want to see more builds, just ask me. I'll keep pumping them out as much as possible and feel free to recommend me some builds. I've seen one so far about a throwing axe, which I am considering. I'm just trying to make the perfect build for it. But overall, that'll do it. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, cool.